Hey everybody, Joe Previtt here, open source developer advocate here at Facebook. And today we're gonna to be talking about my favorite VS Code extensions. I'm gonna show you my top five favorites. Here we go. First up, the Vim VS Code extension. This brings a Vim emulator inside of VS Code. So if you're a Vim user and you wanna take advantage of VS Code, you can join the two thanks to this handy extension. It essentially brings the key bindings from Vim over into VS Code, as you can see. I like this extension because I can take the usefulness of keyboard shortcuts from Vim and bring them inside of VS Code. The next extension I wanna talk about is one called Auto Trim. And so it's one of those extensions that you install and you immediately forget about, but it's helping you without you realizing it. So what this extension does is it tracks the line numbers where a cursor is active, it removes trailing tabs, yada, yada, yada. Essentially, it cleans up all this white space for you and you don't have to think about it. I don't even know if I can show you how it works because it kind of just does its thing for you. But anyways, don't take my word for it. Go try this one out. Let me know what you think. Next up, I wanna talk about one of my all-time favorites, Live Share. Live Share is an extension that allows you to collaborate with other people remotely. What you can do is essentially share your editor with people via a link. So this is fantastic for pair programming, mob programming, or even teaching, or, or if you're doing a workshop. You install it, you sign in with either Microsoft or GitHub, and then you're given a link, which you can then share with other people to join. And in doing so, you can share your editor, you can share your, your local server, you can share your terminal, you can follow people. Uh, it's a fantastic way if you're working remotely or if you want to collaborate with people who are not sitting right next to you. Definitely check this one out. One of my all-time favorites, and it's fantastic, like I said, if you're working remotely and you need to debug something with a coworker and they're not next to you. Give that one a try, let us know what you think. The next extension I want to talk about is called Profile Switcher. Now I like this extension because it allows you to have different profiles within VS Code. So say for instance, you're a developer and you're constantly switching between different languages. So maybe you're doing some JavaScript, so you have 10 extensions that help with that kind of development. And say you do Rust development and you have 10 extensions that, do, that help you with that process. What you can do is isolate these extensions to different profiles so that you're only loading the extensions that you're going to use for that environment. Let's take a look at how this works. So you look for profile switcher and what you can do is select different profiles. And so this is my default profile. And let's say uh, I wanna to switch to my light profile. So you'll go and it'll reload the extensions when you click yes. And so here, you know, it's very obvious that I'm in a different profile. So this might be handy when you're switching between projects or switching between working on something that's open source versus something that's personal versus something that's work related. Uh, and as you can see, for instance, it loads the extensions that are specific to this profile. So in my light profile, I'm not using the Vim extension versus if I switch back to my default profile and click yes to reload, it will load all those extensions, including Vim. So that is really handy. And now the last extension I wanna talk about today is called Markdown All-in-One. This extension is super handy if you're working with Markdown on a daily basis. It comes with a lot of handy keyboard shortcuts. It can create a table of contents. It can do a lot of things. You know, if you take a look in here, they'll, they'll give you a, a lot of examples. Now, if we take a look, one of my favorites is working with links. And so what you can do is if you have a link selected, so let's say I selected this link and I wanted this word that I select with my cursor to be a link, all I do is control or command V and paste it. And as you can see, it sets it up using the markdown format for me. All I had to do was paste. So that's something, a, a little tip. Uh, you can take a look at, at the others. If you look for Markdown All-in-One, 
and as you can see, you know, creating table of contents, updating table of contents, things like that. It is very handy, works really well, especially if let's say you have a blog and it uses Markdown, this is an extension that you're gonna wanna have. So try it out. Let and those are my top five favorite VS Code extensions. Hopefully you thought they were cool. If you try them out, let us know what you think. If you have other extensions that you think we should check out, post a comment below and we'll check them out. Thanks all for watching. Catch you next time.